as a camera caught in Ohio shocked the whole world. Welcome back, Charlie here. Every day, strange and mysterious things are caught on tape in the USA. From terrifying creatures to videos with very scary backstories. Do you think you're brave enough to watch all of these videos to the end? First, we have to look at this merman. This bizarre video was filmed on the coast of the USA. The video taken by the sea shows a mysterious creature. It's sitting on a concrete pier moving around. It looks like some kind of humanoid with beige colored skin. And if you look closely, it appears to have a tail. Because of the shape of this creature and the fact that it's near the sea, many believe this is a merman. That is the male version of a mermaid. Whatever this being is, it definitely does look aquatic. It seems to have gills on the side of its head. Others say this may be a sea creature with a genetic abnormality. The cameraman tries to get closer, but as soon as he does, the creature dives off the pier into the sea. To this day, exactly what this is is up for debate. Could it be a deformed sea animal, a real life merman, or something else completely? Next, let's look at this mysterious Area 51 plane. Many question what goes on at the Area 51 military base in Nevada, USA. One thing we do know is that futuristic military aircraft are tested here, and that appears to be exactly what someone caught on camera here. This is a new stealth aircraft being transported on a contractor truck. No one knows what this mysterious aircraft is. In 2022, a new hangar was built at Area 51. It's believed this hangar's purpose was to hide this aircraft. One satellite photo caught a similar looking aircraft leaving the hangar, but now we can see this mystery plane up close for the first time. Many believe this is one of the US military's hypersonic aircrafts. This is a super futuristic military aircraft being developed by Lockheed Martin's Skunk Works division. Skunk Works is a secretive division inside Lockheed Martin. They work on creating the latest military technologies. The US military is totally silent about this video, but it's safe to say that in future wars, these planes will definitely be used. Moving along, let's look at this highway ghost. One day a man was driving down a highway at night. That's when he sees a scary figure on the highway's central reservation. The car is going fast and the dash cam's quality isn't great, but it does appear to be a female standing over this highway. This was posted online, and after this was posted, many came forward saying they'd seen that same woman. She'd been spotted at various different points on the highway on various different nights. But what exactly is this woman doing? And is this even a human or some kind of ghostly apparition? Some believe it's a woman who lost her life on this highway. Some say she haunts this highway at night, warning drivers to slow down and drive more carefully to avoid the same fate as her. Moving on, I have to show you this creature caught in Ohio. In 2022, a video of an alien creature crossing the road went viral. It was said this was filmed one evening in Ohio. The strange, thin creature has four long legs, and it also appears to have a tail. The man who filmed this said he was sitting in his car one evening. That's when he noticed this bizarre animal crossing the road. At first, some doubted the validity of this video, but then other videos of similar creatures started showing up. Some believe this is an unidentified species of animal, while others think it's an alien creature from another planet. Now we have to look at the wandering meatloaf. No, this isn't a piece of food come to life. Surprisingly, this is a real animal. It's a form of mollusk, and wandering meatloaf is the nickname given to it by scientists. Its official name is Cryptochiton stellari. It's large, red and brown. It kind of looks like a meatloaf come to life. They can be found living along rocky coastlines and can grow to be a massive 15 inches in length. Their skin may look soft, but it's actually lumpy and hard. Some say these are one of the ugliest creatures on planet Earth, and many also say they're rather scary. These mollusks have an array of strong, tiny teeth. They use these to scrape algae from rocks. All of these teeth are attached to one flexible tongue. So watch out for these next time you go to the coast. Moving along, we have to look at this teleporting car. This footage comes from the dash cam of a police car. Police are trying to chase a car, but that's when the car they're chasing turns into a field. When the police car tries to follow, they're met with a fence. Somehow the car they're chasing has passed right through it, but the fence isn't damaged in any way. How did the car manage to go through the fence without damaging it? The police were totally stumped and had to abandon the chase. Afterwards, they released this video to the public. This was to try and identify the car or the driver, but 
no one ever came forward with any information, and the teleporting car remains a mystery to this day. Moving on, let's look at this swamp monster. One day, some people were hiking near a swamp in Florida, USA. That's when they heard some commotion coming from the swamp. What they saw was some kind of swamp monster thrashing around. Whatever this creature is looks very scary. It looks like a bear with a white face, and is clearly incredibly angry. The people who filmed this video ran away soon after. Frankly, I don't blame them as whatever this is looks absolutely terrifying. But exactly what this is and why it's so angry remains unexplained. Now I have to show you these ghost tracks. These mysterious train tracks were found on a beach in Cape May, New Jersey. They had been covered by sand for many years, but thanks to a big storm, they were recently unearthed. Hidden in the Atlantic Ocean were these railroad tracks from World War I. This created a mystery. What were these train tracks used for and why were they buried? Well, after some research, the truth was uncovered. These tracks were used to support sand mining and munitions testing. They were used from 1905 to 1936. They were used by companies making glass and cement, two things which need sand to be made. The military also used these to fire munitions into sand dunes, but eventually these stopped being used. Over the years, they were covered up by sand, only to a Emerge over 80 years later. It really makes you wonder what other mysterious things could be hiding under beaches all over the USA. Now let's look at this llama chase. Normally police chases involve cops chasing a car or motorbike, but I bet you've never seen cops chasing two llamas. These two llamas escaped from a zoo in Arizona, USA. Many police cars and even a helicopter were called out, and after many hours, these llamas were finally caught and returned to their owner. I've heard of a wild goose chase chase before, but never a wild llama chase. Only in America, right? Finally, let's look at this amazing video of a very lucky cat. They say cats have nine lives, and I think this video is proof. One day a building caught fire in Inglewood, Chicago. That's when a cat had no choice but to leap from a window. Amazingly, the cat survived the fall and was totally fine. The cat simply bounced and walked away. Cats can always land on their feet and have amazing agility unlike most other species. But no matter how agile cats are, this is still one very lucky feline. They say cats have nine lives, so I guess this one now has eight left. It's surprising how many bizarre and mysterious things take place in the USA every day. Flying Humanoid Some people find all bugs scary, but even if you don't find wasps, spiders, or beetles scary, you will find this humanoid bug absolutely terrifying. Oh my god! Ugh. Some kids in an apple orchard see a flying bug. At first it seems to be a firefly or maybe a dragonfly, but after a few moments you can soon see that it has arms and legs. The insect seems to have four limbs, two arms and two legs. This has led to many calling it a humanoid. The creature quickly flies off, scaring the kids. Oh my god! Ugh. The video was filmed by the girl's father in Kent, UK. Some online have even called this a real-life fairy. But what do you think it is? An unidentified species, a humanoid, or just a hoax? Digging Creature One day, two teenagers were driving past a cemetery in Akron, Ohio. They were on their work break, but that's when they saw something strange from outside their car window. Some kind of dark figure seems to be digging something up in the cemetery. To me, it does not look like a human. The body shape is slightly off, and the arm seems too thin. Some theories online said this could be a Sasquatch or even a zombie, but really, we have no idea what this is. The girls were scared, so they quickly drove off. Either way, it seems that something that was not human is digging up graves. If that doesn't send a chill down your spine, I don't know what will. Ever since this video was published, locals have steered clear of this cemetery. You never know if and when this creature might make a reappearance. Forest Humanoid There's something about forests which just creeps me out. 
It seems every forest and every town has some scary story attached to it. Whether real or myth, it's always enough to make you look over your shoulder as you're walking through the forest. In 2016, Don John Averon was walking in the woods. That's when he saw a creature like he'd never seen before. This does not look like a human, nor an animal that I'm aware of. Don very carefully crept up on this creature. The creature is ape-like, but it has very long and bent arms and legs. It also seems to be hunched over. Some have said this could be a Sasquatch, or even the famous Bigfoot. Scarily, the creature's gigantic sloth-like arms have no fingers. The creature walks deeper into the forest, but Don does not dare follow it. He had no way to tell, but it could have been dangerous. Can you identify this bizarre creature? Some have said it could be a deformed monkey or ape, or even a bear, but I find this rather unlikely. It's far too thin and lumbering to be a bear. It also seems to walk on two legs, almost like a human. This has led to some referring to it as a forest humanoid. Angel do you believe in angels? If the answer is no, then you may reconsider that after watching this video. In 2013, Richard Maria began seeing some kind of advanced life form following him around. He kept seeing the life form, but it would happen so fast and he'd never get a good look. So after a few weeks, he decided to set up surveillance cameras around his home. That's when at 6am, the camera captures something. A humanoid looking creature with possible wings seems to fly up into the sky. This happened in Richard's backyard. Its arms or wings are at its side, and it does seem to take the form of a human. You can vaguely make out a head, body, two arms, and two legs. The amazing thing is, there's nothing making this creature fly. The creature's wings aren't even moving. Perhaps it's flying using a method that us humans simply don't understand. Richard had been seeing this creature in the sky for many days. He believes it's a demon. He calls it a humanoid grey. But others said maybe it's an angel who is looking over and protecting Richard. Some have said this could be CGI overlaid on the video, but there's something that makes me doubt that. The angel or demon appears to give off some kind of light, and this light can clearly be seen on the trees around it. So whatever this is, I do think it is actually in the video and not overlaid as CGI. But if that's the case, then what is it? Let me know your thoughts in the comments. Desert Creature after forests, deserts might be the second most mysterious place on Earth. There are hundreds of cases of people disappearing in the desert, never to be seen again. And deserts are also the number one spot for UFO sightings. One day some construction workers in Portugal were working out in the desert. The construction site was in the middle of nowhere. The workers were talking about the project, but that's when they saw something strange walking around. A large humanoid creature appeared to be walking around. It looks to be around 7 or 8 feet tall, much taller than most humans. The workers in the video are shocked and very scared. They consider going closer, but wisely decide against it. To this day, the creature has never been seen again. Almost no one goes to this very rural location. So perhaps no human has ever ran into this again. Or if they have, they didn't live to tell the tale. Graveyard Creature This video was filmed in 2007. But it was only in 2016 when the man who filmed this re-watched it. And when he did, he saw something he did not notice when first filming it. As the camera shows the tombstones, you can see something behind one of the tombs. The strange creature appears to peer out from behind a grave. Some said it looks like an alien, and others said it was likely a zombie given the location. I find both of these theories quite unlikely, but two things are for sure. The creature is very scary, and it's almost definitely not human. The cemetery does appear to be in a forest area, so maybe it's an unidentified forest animal. As of yet, we still don't know. Lake Monster 
Lake Okanaga in Canada is rumoured to house many mysterious underwater creatures. But a few years back, one of these giant creatures was caught on camera for the first time. Some kind of massive sea creature can clearly be seen. It's moving in a straight line, which suggests it's one massive underwater creature. Some have said it could be a boat towing something, but there's clearly no boat in sight, and there's no boat ripples in the water either. If you take a trip to this great Canadian lake, I suggest you don't take a dip. Tree Man In some ways, playgrounds are very nice and innocent, but at night, they become quite eerie and creepy. Don't get what I mean? Well then check out this mysterious playground creature known as Tree Man. This terrifying creature appears to be waving at whoever's taking the photo. The figure seems to be grey with red eyes. It almost seems to be a tree that's come to life. The playground is located in a forest, which makes this all the more creepy. It almost seems friendly the way it's sitting on a slide and waving at you, but maybe it's doing this to lull you into a false sense of security. Death Note the man you're looking at in this video is named Chilino Sanchez. Chilino Sanchez was a very famous Mexican singer. Chilino gained a lot of fame in Mexico for his songs. He later went to the USA and became famous there too. But in 1992, he returned to his home of Mexico. This was to perform a rare gig in Culiacan, Mexico. The gig was on the 15th of May, 1992. The show went relatively normal at first. That was until Chilino Sanchez was about to play his final song for the night. Before his final song, he was handed a note. The note said, if you play this next song, you will die. Chilino paused to read the note and naturally seemed rather scared. But after a few seconds, he recomposed himself. He crumpled up the piece of paper, put it in his pocket and continued the show. In defiance of the note, he played his final song and it's said he gave one of the best performances of his life. Almost like he knew it would be his last. He then gave an unusually long goodbye to everyone in the band. Chilino then left through a back door. He got into his car and drove home, but on the way he was pulled over by a fake police car. The men claimed to be law enforcement agents. They told Chilino that the head of police wanted to speak with him. They then handcuffed and blindfolded Chilino. He was put into their vehicle and driven to an undisclosed location. Chilino was then shot in the back of the head twice. He was found four hours later. A motive was never established, but it's believed the hit was related to Mexican narco gangs. Chilino had connections to people who worked in cartels. He also wrote various narco corridos. These are songs about specific drug lords in Mexico. It's clear Chilino made some enemies and paid the ultimate price with his life. The person recording this had no idea it would be the last recording of Chilino alive. He looks so calm on the surface. Almost like after reading the note, he accepted his fate. Tesla detects ghosts. Tesla are famous for their self-driving cars. Of course, for this to be safe, the car must be able to detect any humans in the way. But perhaps cars can detect what humans can't. One man named Edgar had driven into a cemetery to deliver flowers at a grave. It's almost as if his car was detecting spirits around him. As Edgar moves his camera around the cemetery, you can see there's no one there. The person keeps flashing on and off the screen, almost as if the Tesla is having trouble detecting whatever this is. Some believe the Tesla really did detect a ghost or spirit. But what do you think? The car detects people using sensors, which is the same technology ghost hunters use when going to a haunted house. Perhaps sensors can detect ghosts, but our human eyes simply cannot see them. Fritz the Doll Mr. Fritz is a ventriloquist doll. He was used by the German army to entertain allied prisoners of war during World War II. He was used in Stalag 2B, which was a German prisoner of war camp. 
His creator was an American prisoner of war. His creator was shot by German troops along with 10 other men. This was during forced labor duty on a nearby farm. This occurred only two weeks before the camp was liberated in 1945. Since then, it's been said Mr. Fritz is possessed by his creator's spirit. For years, many said this doll would move all by itself, until 2019 when it was caught moving on camera. The video begins with various strange orbs moving around, and that's when Mr. Fritz's glass case opens all by itself. If you think that's creepy, then check out the footage from the following night. The following night, the orbs appear again, and just like the night before, the door opens. But pay close attention to Mr. Fritz's eyes. As you can see, they clearly move. Mr. Fritz's mouth then begins to move as well. The doll is not animatronic at all, and inside it's hollow. There's no mechanism that could make its eyes and mouth move. The doll is currently owned by Michael Diamond. He keeps it in a glass case in Liverpool, UK. He says he has now secured the cabinet with a chain and covered it with a blanket. For his own sake, I hope that's enough to stop Mr. Fritz. Missing Persons Shrine In 2016, a hiker named James Rankin was taking a walk in the woods. He was in Long Island Park in New York. That was when he came across a missing persons poster. He thought it was strange to see one of these in the woods. However, after taking a few more steps, he saw more and more posters. In total, he saw more than two dozen missing persons posters hanging in the woods. All of the posters were real. The posters showed all kinds of people who'd gone missing across the US. These are, these are just the ones that I've gone and closed up, close up. James also uncovered a camp. There was a tent, bedding, and opened cans of food. It's clear that someone was living here, and for some sinister reason was collecting missing persons posters. Some speculated that whoever did this may be behind the disappearances. Maybe it's like he's keeping score in some sick way. After James found this, police opened an investigation, but so far no leads have been found. Whoever made this shrine is yet to be identified, and whether the person had anything to do with the disappearances is unknown. Dragon Creature You never know what you might see when driving at night. In June of 2021, a man was driving down a rural road. There were no streetlights, and the only thing lighting the way was his headlights. That was when his dash cam picks up something scary jumping from one side of the road to the other. The driver also saw this, but it was too fast to see. It was only when he went back and looked at his dash cam footage that he realized this was not an animal, or at least not one that he could identify. The creature looks almost like a dragon. Some say it looks like a gigantic mantis, but no one is sure what this actually is. To this day, it remains a total mystery. Demon in the Bed This video comes from a Malaysian teenager named Samir. He was laying on a bed watching a movie with his mother. His mother had fallen asleep, so Samir decided to take a funny video to show his mother when she woke up. But when the camera pans over to his mother, there's something strange in the bed. Samir freezes as he can't believe what he's seeing, but a pale demon face is in the bed with them. When he looks back, the face is gone. Samir is terrified and immediately wakes up his mother. Samir wasn't sure if he was seeing things as he'd been awake for some time. But as you can see on the camera, there's clearly something on the bed. The figure casts a shadow and is changing the pillow's shape. So it appears this is not CGI. Living Photograph One day a family was sitting in their living room looking at old photos. But that's when something on one of the photos made everyone on the family stop in fear. They realized that the hair on a baby photo was moving all by itself. Scarily, the infant in this photo passed away. Some believe that this person's spirit may be haunting the photo. Let me know what you think could be going on in this image. Frozen Birds This video was recorded in Florida, USA. A man is passing by some hills when he sees some birds in the sky, but he soon realizes that none of the birds are moving in the sky. 
These birds appear to be frozen in time. There's no way that a bird could suspend itself in the sky and not fall down. They have to flap their wings in order to stay up. It would be understandable if this was one bird, such as an eagle. But this is a large flock of crows which always have to flap their wings. Could this be a real life glitch in the Matrix? Let me know your thoughts in the comments down below. Levitating Man. This video comes from a country in Africa. It shows people at some sort of ceremony, but what people seem most amazed by is a levitating man. The guy appears to be levitating several feet above the ground. He seems to also spin around in the air. There's no string or anything holding this man up. There's also no trees or buildings nearby this guy could be hanging off. If this was an obvious trick, I don't think the audience would be reacting like this. Could this be an example of real levitation caught on camera? Or is there some other explanation behind this video? Now we have to look at this highway landing. Just imagine driving down a highway when all of a sudden that highway becomes a landing strip. Well, that's what happened in Minnesota. Drivers were stunned when a small plane landed on the highway. The single engine plane even collides with another vehicle on the road. The plane was having an engine problem. The crew realized there was no way they'd make it to an airport in time, forcing them to emergency land on a highway. The plane's landing also destroyed part of the highway. The highway was closed for a few hours after this, but thankfully no one was injured. Moving on, we have to look at this real-life laser weapon. With a budget of $800 billion per year, the US military is one of the biggest organizations in the world. So it's no surprise that a lot of innovation and inventions comes from the military. But one of their scariest inventions has to be real-life laser weapons. This laser weapon can destroy an aircraft in mid-flight. It seems like something from science fiction, but this is reality. These laser weapons are attached to US Navy warships. Just take a look at how this laser weapon destroys a boat. It's even believed these laser weapons are being installed in submarines, meaning that lasers can be fired at planes from under the sea. The US Navy has also released a video showing one of these laser weapons taking out a military drone. The ship can be seen firing a red laser into the sky, and the military drone then explodes. This was actually tweeted by the US Navy, but the location of where this test took place is classified. It's scary to know this technology even exists. It's believed these laser weapons will mainly be used on UAV drones, but they could also be used on manned aircraft and vessels in a combat situation. Next, we have to look at this UFO video. In 2018, a passenger aboard a Japanese flight saw something scary out of their airplane window. There seems to be one very big UFO floating in the sky, with various small UFOs flying around it. The Japanese Defense Ministry said this was nothing to do with them meaning that whatever this is has not yet been explained. Some believe there's a natural explanation for this. That is some kind of mirage. Perhaps light was simply reflecting into the sky. But others claim this was a secret military test, or even an alien UFO. Next, we have to look at volcano lightning. This is a totally real and dangerous natural phenomena caught on camera. On their own, volcanoes and lightning are very scary. But what is volcano lightning? Well, when a volcano erupts, it creates lots of energy, as well as lots of smoke and ash. These ash particles rub against each other. This causes electrons to positively transfer, creating balls of lightning inside volcanoes. Volcano lightning looks amazing, but it's very deadly. And volcano lightning is even radioactive. That's because inside volcanoes are radioactive isotopes. But despite all the danger, many researchers actually seek out volcano lightning. That's because it's a rare phenomenon meaning that research is scarce. Moving on, we have to look at this sinking cargo ship. This is the Voicey Bernadette cargo ship. This ship was actually blown up by US Customs and Border Patrol. That's because it was being used to smuggle illegal substances from Haiti to Miami. Explosives were attached and this ship was sunk. I'm not sure why they didn't just bring this ship to the shore and take it, but I guess they thought it was simply easier to sink this ship. The entire thing was caught on camera by drone. The the footage is incredibly surprising, especially as they blew this ship up with so many other boats around. Next, we have to look at the Whale's Panther. For many years, people in Wales have reported seeing a real panther walking around. It may sound crazy, but this video might prove it. In Park Penalta, a man named Liam Cooper caught this video. 
On a hill near some houses appears to be a large, dark-colored big cat. Many have analyzed this video and say it appears to be a panther. Finally, we have to look at this very mysterious crop circle video. One day a Russian wheat farmer saw some mysterious circles in his field. So he pulled out his drone and was shocked at what he saw. There were six large perfect rings in the crops. The biggest two circles also had deep craters in the center, almost as if something had landed there. Similar circles had been spotted in this same region three times. This is over the course of 15 years. Elizabeth Barraza in 2019, Elizabeth Barraza was living with her husband, Sergio. They lived in Tombal, Texas. Their five-year anniversary was coming up. To celebrate, they were planning on taking a trip to Universal Studios in Orlando, Florida. They were big fans of the Star Wars franchise. Elizabeth would often dress up in a Stormtrooper outfit. She would then go to a local hospital and cheer up all of the patients inside. It's safe to say Elizabeth was a really great woman. Elizabeth wanted to get some extra money for their trip. So one morning she decided to do a yard sale. In the early hours of January 25th, Elizabeth Barraza went out to her front yard. She began laying things out that she was going to sell. But at 7am, a vehicle stops and pulls up beside her. A dark figure with long hair who appears to be wearing a bathrobe approaches Elizabeth. Elizabeth seems relaxed and says good morning. But that's when the person pulls out a firearm. They pull the trigger three times. Elizabeth then falls to the ground. And they pull the trigger once more. They did this at point blank range, making sure Elizabeth would not survive. The killer then jumps into their pickup truck and drives away quickly. Of course, everyone in the area was saddened because Elizabeth was so well liked, but they were just as confused as they were sad. There seemed to be no motive at all. Whoever did this did not steal anything from Elizabeth. They simply took her life and then drove away. Footage of the event was captured from a neighbor's surveillance camera. We know that Elizabeth said good morning in a friendly tone to this person. That's because police released ring camera footage from Elizabeth's house. The shooter's car was picked up on various surveillance cameras, but it was never traced anywhere. Police aren't even sure if the person who did this is male or female. It really seems like this was a planned assassination, but no one is sure why. Elizabeth got on well with everyone. Her friends and family were interviewed, but they all said she had no enemies who would do such a thing. Another weird fact is Elizabeth told no one she was going to do a yard sale. It was spontaneous. She never mentioned it on social media or anywhere else. Her husband Sergio was investigated as a suspect, as is often the case when one person in a couple is murdered. But after going through Sergio's phone, police found nothing of interest. The shooting happened around five minutes after Sergio left for work. Some would say this is good timing, but it's more likely that the shooter was waiting for Sergio to go to work. That way they would be alone with Elizabeth, and there would be less chance of them getting seen. It's very mysterious and eerie that we don't know who did this or why. Elizabeth was such a loved person in her community. As I mentioned, she was known for going into her local hospital to cheer up the patients. She had no idea that she would be taken to that same hospital after getting shot four times. The family is still seeking justice with a $20,000 reward. If you know anything about this case, then call the number on screen. The Jenny Jones Show if you were alive in the 90s, I'm sure you remember the Jenny Jones show. It was very similar to Oprah. It was hosted by Jenny Jones and was a light daytime TV show. On March 6th, 1995, an episode of the Jenny Jones show was being taped. It began like any other episode. Jenny Jones calmly introduced the episode's topic. It was a male-on-male -male crush. But this light-hearted segment would have serious consequences. It would also ruin many lives and lead to the end of the Jenny Jones show. Scott Amadieu and his friend Donna Riley were on the show. While on the show, Scott said that he had a crush on his male friend named Jonathan Schmidt. Jonathan had been wearing headphones backstage and had heard none of this. 
Jonathan had no idea that Scott had been telling the audience that he had a crush on Jonathan. At first, Jenny Jones made Jonathan think it was Donna who had a crush on him. But eventually, Jenny Jones said, guess what? It's Scott who has a crush on you, not Donna. The audience began laughing and clapping, and Jonathan seemed to take this rather well. He was totally straight and had no interest in Scott. But he seemed to take it pretty well and realize it was all fun and games. Of course, Jonathan was naturally uncomfortable, but he did not seem upset or angry at all. He simply laughed and said he was straight and not interested in a relationship with Scott. After the taping, Jonathan, Scott, and Donna went to get drinks and dinner. They then flew home together to Michigan, and it seemed like everything was fine. They were acting like the friends they'd always been. But when they returned home three days later, Scott left a flirty note outside Jonathan's apartment. The note said, you have the right tools to turn this on. It's clear Scott meant this in a flirty way, but maybe it was too far seeing as Jonathan had been kind of embarrassed on the TV show, and he decided to take Scott's life. He drove to purchase ammo and a shotgun. He then drove to Scott's house. He then aimed the shotgun at Scott and fired twice. During the trial, Jonathan said he was very embarrassed about what happened on the Jenny Jones show, and the flirtatious note from Scott sent him over the edge. But of course, this is no excuse to take someone's life. In 1996, Jonathan was found guilty. He was sentenced to 25 years in prison, and was released in 2017. Scott's family sued the Jenny Jones show. The Jenny Jones show was found guilty and had to give Scott's family $25 million. And soon after, the show was taken off air. Nuclear Fizzle Nuclear bombs are scary. They are designed to create gigantic explosions. And most of the time, extra things are added to the nukes to make the clouds even larger. But sometimes all of this fails, and you get what is known as a nuclear fizzle. This is the only publicly available footage of a nuclear fizzle. It was taken at the Yuma test site in 1956. A blindingly bright light can be seen but it soon turns into a surprisingly small black cloud. This is known as a nuclear fizzle. This was part of the top secret Operation Red Wing. It may look small, but this explosion was the equivalent to 200 tons of TNT, and it could wipe out anything in a one mile radius. Slumber Party this image may look like a normal slumber party, but one of these women would not leave the slumber party alive. That woman was 41-year-old Tamla Horsford. Tamla was a very kind and energetic woman. In the fall of 2018, Tamla went to a friend's for a slumber party. The slumber party would be held at her friend Jean Mayer's home. There were 12 people besides Tamla at the party. This included nine women, two men, and one husband who dropped off and picked up his wife. The woman chatted, ate food, and drank booze. They also watched a football game on TV. The men watched the same game, but in a different room. At around 1.30 a.m., guests began to go to bed, but Tamla stayed up. During the night, various photos and videos of Tamla were recorded. The last person to see Tamla alive was Bridget Fuller. They chatted briefly before Bridget went to bed. Over the next 10 minutes, the home security system registered the back door opening, closing, and then opening again. It also recorded the garage door opening, closing, and then opening again. At 8.30 the next morning, Madeline Lombardi, Jean Mayer's aunt, went downstairs for a cup of coffee. That was when she saw something outside in the backyard. It was Tamla Horsford. She was lying face down in the pajamas she was wearing the night before. The first thing Madeline did was kneel down and begin to pray. It's kind of weird she did this before calling 911. Eventually, Madeline woke up Jean and Jean called 911. In the 911 call, she did not sound worried at all. She said it looks like Tamla had been drinking and fell off the balcony. She's not moving one bit. She's not breathing. She's completely face down in the yard. Cops arrived at the scene within 15 minutes. Paramedics also got there, but it was no use. Tamla was not alive. The party guests and the cops both said Tamla probably fell from the balcony, but an autopsy said her injuries were not consistent with a fall. Tamla's family believed that someone may have taken her life. 
But on February 20th, 2019, the Forsyth County Sheriff's Office closed the case. They said no crime had been committed. The case received no public recognition until two months later. That was when a witness was fired from his county court officer job. He had accessed the internal report and leaked it. People instantly began to think something was not right with the case. Many believed someone had purposely taken Tamla's life. The hashtag justice for Tamla went viral online, and many celebrities also came out saying they wanted to know more about the case. For example, T.I. and 50 Cent believe Tamla had had her life taken. In June of 2020, the case was reopened. But almost one year later, the case was quietly closed yet again. Despite the fact that many, including Tamla's family, believe someone had taken her life. To this day, people are still trying to get justice for Tamla. But do you think this was simply a fall from a balcony? Or do you think this is a major cover-up and someone took Tamla's life? If you're enjoying this video, then why not subscribe and press the bell too? It really does help me out. Erica Hernandez This video shows 40-year-old Erica Hernandez. She is leaving her brother's house on April 17th, 2021. It is the last video of Erica before she disappeared. She invited some family members over, but many could not make it. She did not want the food to go to waste. So she decided to drive it to her brother's house. Erica dropped off the food and left. Her kids were in the car with her, so she dropped them off back at home. She then drove back out to her best friend Maggie's house to give her some food. Erica left Maggie's house at around 2.30 a.m. As Erica was driving home, Maggie texted her, checking if she'd got home safely. To which Erica replied, I'm five minutes away from my house. Five minutes later, Maggie texted her again, saying, did you get home safe? But Maggie never received a response. No one heard from Erica since. When Erica did not return home, her family realized something was wrong. They went out for a massive search, but found nothing. That was until about one month later. Erica's SUV was found in a local lake. Inside the vehicle, Erica was found. It's believed Erica's car may have somehow hit a curb and then fell into the lake. But it's not entirely clear how this happened. Either way, authorities said no foul play occurred and the case has been closed ever since. Lightning Humanoid This video was filmed next to the Oriental Pearl Tower in Shanghai, China. A massive thunder and lightning storm is going on, but when people spot a figure floating in the sky, they begin recording. It seems this man may be hanging off the tower, but he doesn't seem to be attached by anything. Soon it appears like this person acts as a lightning rod. Whatever this figure is, it struck many times by lightning. But despite being struck by lightning many times, it stays floating in the sky. It's incredibly mysterious and everyone recording can't work out what this is. This figure does have the silhouette of a human, but how a human could be floating in the sky and getting struck by lightning makes no sense. The video was posted on a Chinese social networking site named Weibo. In the comments, various people said they were there and saw the same thing. But to this day, exactly who or what this is has not been explained. Next, we have to look at this real video from Area 51. Nowadays, pretty much everyone knows about Area 51. But back when this video was filmed, almost no one knew about it. In fact, the government even denied Area 51 to existence. This footage was filmed in 1994 by Zhao Marcelo. He was one of the first people to ever try and break into Area 51, and when he did, he filmed a video of this mysterious cylinder. The video quality is quite good for the mid-90s, but what is this mysterious floating cylinder? It can't be a drone, as these came decades later. This led to many saying it could be a UFO. In the 90s, people would have said you were crazy for thinking this. 
But seeing this footage nearly two decades later, it does really seem like a plausible UFO sighting. Next, we have to look at this alien secret service. In 2013, then President Barack Obama gave a speech, but people were more focused on one of his secret service guards than the speech itself. Many online were very creeped out and said the secret service agent resembled an alien. The agent has a very broad body, but his head and neck are far smaller. He also repeats the same movements over and over again, scanning the crowd in a robotic way. He is caught on camera various times throughout the speech, and in every shot he does seem to resemble an alien creature. The man's nose, jaw, and chin all appear to be the same length. There was lots of talk online about this, but the White House never confirmed nor denied anything. And after this video, the same Secret Service agent was never seen again. To this day, the mysterious agent has never been identified. Now we have to look at this suspected mermaid. Mermaids are said to be creatures which are half human and half fish. Many believe mermaids aren't real, but take a look at this video and see what you think. Six mysterious men appear to be moving a mermaid-like creature. Four of the men are wearing white, protective hazmat suits, while the other two men are wearing protective medic uniforms. The creature is loaded onto a stretcher and then moved away. It looks like something from a movie set, but there are no cameramen or crew anywhere to be found, and no movie featuring this scene has come out so far. The video was captured next to a remote river in Poland. The video has been shared millions of times online, but so far Polish authorities authorities have not said anything about it. Now we have to look at this humanoid worm. It's no secret that insects can be creepy. This bug from Brazil is no exception. This green worm has a human face. It has human-like eyes and pink lips. It sort of has the face of an old woman. But here's the mysterious part. The exact species of this worm is unknown. But some experts have chimed in. They believe this worm's face may be to mimic a reptile thus scaring off any predators. It definitely is an amazing and scary bug, but I don't want it to go anywhere near me. Now we have to look at this Chinese humanoid. Is this man human or giant? That was the question asked by this Chinese documentary in 1999. This man is known as the Hybrid Man. He grew up in a rural peasant village in China. The man's mother claimed that she'd been kidnapped by a Yuren, which is a Chinese version of Bigfoot. By the time she'd escaped, she was pregnant, and later gave birth to this man. A documentary about the man was broadcast on Chinese TV. The man passed away a few years later at the age of 33. For a long time, the footage of this man was lost, but resurfaced a few years back. Recently, researchers went back to the village to learn more about this man, but by now, most people in his village had forgotten about him, and to this day, his true origin remains a mystery. Next, we have to look at the Montauk Monster. Montauk is a beach town in New York, USA, but in 1959, residents were shocked when this washed up on their beach. The creature is very mysterious and unexplained. It resembles a primate species, but its torso is too long and its arms are too short. Its entire body is made of pure muscle, which does not seem natural at all. The creature seems to be a hybrid of many animals, but but here's where things get weird. Very close by to this was the Plum Island Animal Disease Center. This was a mysterious research facility. Many diseased animals were studied, and it's said that experiments on animals were carried out. Perhaps the so-called Montauk monster escaped from this facility, or maybe it was disposed of improperly. To this day, the Montauk monster remains unexplained. Moving on, we have to look at this Washington, D.C. UFO. In 2017, Fox News accidentally caught a UFO flying around Washington, D.C. Moments before cutting away to a commercial break, they filmed this. 
frightening. All right, well, college interns on Capitol Hill may be getting a great- Some kind of yellow disc flies in front of the Capitol building. You may think this could be a drone or plane, but the airspace around the Capitol building is strictly off limits. It goes incredibly fast and is a disc shape, suggesting it may not be manned by humans. It's hard to make out what this is, but it definitely fits the definition of an unidentified flying object. Now we have to look at this mysterious UFO video. This video comes from the USA. A cluster of five bright lights are moving together. At first, they look like military grade flares which have been fired into the sky. But that's when, suddenly, they stop. They hover for a moment before turning around and flying in the opposite direction, clearly showing they're piloted by someone or something. At one point, the lights also get brighter. They then seem to merge into one bright light, and then split into two. Some believe this is a secret government prototype, while others say it's a real sighting of UFOs. The video is clear and fascinating, but unfortunately is still unexplained. Finally, we have to look at this Peru alien. This image was recently posted online by a man named Alfredo. He lives in Iquitos, Peru, and recently had a bizarre experience. He claims to have seen this alien creature near his backyard. He wasn't sure how big the alien was, but he estimates around seven feet. It's not known if Alfredo's photo is real, but in recent years, alien sightings in Central and South America have increased, and in September of 2023, Mexico revealed this to the world. Mexican researchers said they had found some non-human entities and unveiled them at Mexico's Congress. These creatures had been found in Cusco, Peru, and were said to be over 1,000 years old. Their DNA is also unknown, meaning that whatever these are, they're not human. These really make Alfredo's photos seem more believable. But now it's time for you to make your voice heard. Comment below, do you believe in aliens or not? I've been Charlie, thanks for watching. If you want to see my short videos, then check out my second channel. Leave a like if you enjoyed. And if you haven't already, then what are you waiting for? Subscribe to Top 10s.